Basics of Medical Biochemistry. First Edition, 2022. Chapter 6. Chemistry of Enzymes, Part 1 of 2. By Prof. Dr. Muhammad Jod. MBBS, Dow, M. Philosophy, Ph.D., Dip M. E. Head of the Biochemistry Department Phase I Ruth Fa Medical College PAF Base Faisal Karachi Pakistan Ex-Professor of Biochemistry, Qasim University Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Ex-Professor, Head of the Biochemistry Department and Vice Principal Liaquat College of Medicine and Dentistry and Fatima Jinnah Dental College, Karachi Pakistan Chapter 6 Chemistry of Enzymes 6.1 Introduction The word enzyme, enzyme equals in leaven equals ferment, means derived from yeast after the catalytic activity of yeast. The root word ASE comes from Greek diastasis meaning separation. Enzymes are biocatalysts, organic substances, mostly protein in nature, heat label and synthesized by living cells. They alter the rate of a reaction several folds, mostly increase but themselves neither used up nor changed in the process. In a chemical reaction, enzymes act on a substance called substrate and convert them into products. All chemical reactions of the body need specific enzymes. The importance of enzymes to life is obvious by the fact that many serious genetic diseases are due to missing or defective enzymes. Knowledge of enzymes is undoubtedly useful in controlling various diseases. In this regard, one way is by targeting the particular enzyme of disease-causing bacteria or viruses. Drugs have been designed to block the active site of an enzyme. For example, penicillin can destroy the enzyme necessary for the synthesis of the bacterial cell wall. Similarly, in the treatment of AIDS, HIV protease inhibitors are used to block the viral enzyme protease. 6.2 Enzyme Nomenclature and Classification 6.2.1 Recommended Names, these names are given according to substrate example lactase, sucrase and maltase acting on lactose, sucrose and maltose respectively. Nature of reaction is also considered example lactate dehydrogenase, LDH, glycogen phosphorylase, ascorbic acid oxidase, etc. Trivial names are still in use giving no information about the catalyzed substrate and nature of reaction example pepsin, trypsin, amylase, etc. 6.2.2 Systematic Names, according to the International Union of Biochemists, IUB, an enzyme name has two parts. The first part is the name of the substrate for the enzyme and the second part is the type of reaction catalyzed by the enzyme, this part ends with the suffix ASE. Examples, lactate dehydrogenase, nucleotidases, glycogen phosphorylase, etc. In a systematic naming system, all enzymes are classified into six major classes according to the reaction being catalyzed. All enzymes of the body belong to any one of these major classes. The classification does not consider the amino acid sequence, i.e., homology, protein structure, or chemical mechanism. Table 6.16 Classes of Enzymes Class of Enzyme Function 1. Oxidoreductases Catalyze oxidation and reduction reactions. 2. Transferases. Catalyze transfer of chemical groups, except groups transferred by oxidoreductases, such as glycosyl, methyl, or phosphoryl groups. 3. Hydrolyses. Catalyze cleavage of their substrates by addition of H2O, i.e., they perform hydrolysis. 4. Lyases. Catalyze non-hydrolytic removal of functional groups from substrates. Remove a group with the result of double bond. Formation or add a group to double bonds. 5. Isomerases. Catalyze intramolecular rearrangement of their substrates. 6. Ligases. Catalyze the binding of two molecules to form one molecule. 1. Oxidoreductases, they conduct redox reactions. Subclasses are, I oxidases, 2. Dehydrogenases, 3. Hydroperoxidases and 4. Oxygenases. I oxidases, they utilize O2 as a hydrogen acceptor during catalyzing a redox reaction. E.g., 
ascorbic acid oxidase, xanthine oxidase, amino acid oxidase, etc. Figure 6.1 Action of ascorbic acid oxidase 2. Dehydrogenases, they remove hydrogen from the substrate and use NAD+, FAD and NADP+, as hydrogen acceptors, coenzymes. E.g., lactate dehydrogenase, pyruvate dehydrogenase, succinate dehydrogenase, etc. Figure 6.2 Action of lactate dehydrogenase Another important example of a dehydrogenation reaction is the first reaction of the HMP shunt which involves the conversion of glucose 6-phosphate to 6-phosphogluconolactone by the enzyme glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. 3. Hydroperoxidases, they perform decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Examples include catalase, found in animal tissues, and peroxidase, found in plant tissues. Catalase 2H2O2 2H2O plus O2 Peroxidase H2O2 plus 2H plus plus 2E2H2O 4 Oxygenases, they perform oxidation by the addition of O2 into the substrate. E.g., phenylalanine hydroxylase, tryptophan dioxygenase, etc. Figure 6.3 Action of phenylalanine hydroxylase 2 Transferases they perform the exchange of group, except H2, from one substance to another. Their subtypes are transaminases, phosphotransferases, transmethylases, transpeptidases, transacylases, etc. The general pattern of reaction catalyzed by a transferase enzyme is given below. AX plus BBX plus A. I transaminases, aminotransferases they catalyze transamination reactions. Aminotransferase or transaminase transfers an alpha amino group from an amino acid to alpha keto acid. These enzymes are found in the cytoplasm and mitochondria of almost all cells of the body. A transamination reaction is a combination of deamination and amination. There are two clinically important aminotransferases i.e., alanine aminotransferase, ALT, or serum glutamic pyruvic transaminase, SGPT, and aspartate aminotransferase, AST or serum glutamic oxalostic transaminase, SGOT, both are raised in all hepatic disorders and they are useful in screening tests for liver disorders. ALT transfers the amino group of alanine to ketoglutarate to form glutamate and alanine becomes pyruvate. Figure 6.4 Action of alanine aminotransferase, ALT 2. Phosphotransferases or kinases, they transfer a phosphate group, usually from ADP to a substance e.g., glucokinase, hexokinase, etc. Glucokinase Glucose plus ADP glucose 6-phosphate plus ADP 3. Transmethylases, they catalyze the transmethylation reaction, which involves the transfer of the methyl group. For example, the methylation of noradrenaline converts it into adrenaline. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme transmethylase or methyltransferase. The source of the methyl group is S-adenosylmethionine, SAM, in this reaction. Figure 6.5 Methylation of noradrenaline to form adrenaline, SAM, S-adenosylmethionine. 4. Transpeptidases, they catalyze the transfer of amino acids or peptides among the substances. For example, benzoyl glycin transpeptidase catalyzes the transfer of glycin to benzoyl coa during the formation of hippuric acid. O. Oh. V transylases, they catalyze the transfer of the acyl, RC, group. For example, choline acetyl transferase is involved in the synthesis of acetylcholine. Acetyl CoA plus choline acetyl choline plus CoA. 3 hydrolases, they catalyze hydrolysis. By definition, hydrolysis is the chemical breakdown of a compound due to a reaction with water. It is a chemical process in which a molecule of water is added to a substance and this addition causes both the substance and water molecule to split into two parts. They catalyze hydrolytic cleavage of CC, CO, CN and other covalent bonds. I proteolytic enzymes, protein hydrolyzing enzymes they catalyze the hydrolysis of proteins. They may be endopeptidases that attack the inner peptide bond of a protein molecule or exopeptidases which break the terminal peptide bond. The exopeptidase may be aminopeptidase, 
remove terminal amino acid at N-terminal, or carboxypeptidase, remove terminal amino acid at C-terminal. Pepsin, trypsin, and chymotrypsin are examples of endopeptidases. Two carbohydrases, they hydrolyze glycosidic bonds found in carbohydrates. E.g., amylase, maltase, lactase, sucrase etc. Three lipases, they perform hydrolysis of lipids. E.g., lipase, cholesterol esterase, phospholipases, etc. Some other examples of hydrolysis include phosphatases like glucose 6-phosphatase, pyrophosphatase, phosphorylase, nucleases, nucleotidases, nucleosidases, cholinesterase, sulfatase, etc. Figure 6.6 .6 Action of pyrophosphatase For lyases, they remove or add H2O, NH3, or CO2 molecules into the substrate. During the addition of these molecules, the double bond is removed whereas a double bond is created after the loss of these molecules. Carbonic anhydrase is an example of lyases. It is a zinc-containing enzyme, found in RBCs, gastric mucosa, kidney, and the eye. It catalyzes the formation of carbonic acid, H2CO3, by the reaction between H2O and CO2. CO2 plus H2O H2CO3 Another example of an enzyme that belongs to this class is fumarase which brings about the interconversion of fumaric acid and malic acid. Lyases also include decarboxylases and aldolase in the removal direction and synthases in the addition direction. 5. Isomerases, they catalyze isomerization reactions, including racemization and cis-trans isomerization. They can change the class of substrate. No addition or loss of atom takes place during isomerization reactions. They interconvert isomeric structures by molecular rearrangements. E.g., phosphohexose isomerase, phosphotriose isomerase, alanine race maze, etc. Figure 6.7 Action of alanine race maze 6. Ligases, synthetases they catalyze ligation, or joining of two substrates in various reactions of synthesis. They bring about the synthesis of new bonds. Most of these synthesizing reactions need chemical energy which is usually supplied by the cleavage of ADP. E.g., glycogen synthase, palmitoyl CoA synthetase, glutamine synthetase. Figure 6.8 Action of glutamine synthetase 6.2.3 Enzyme Code According to this code each enzyme has a classification number. The enzyme code has four digits. The first figure indicates the main class, the second figure indicates the subclass and the type of group involved in the reaction, the third figure gives the information about the type of the substrate, sub-subclass, and the fourth figure is a serial number. For example, the enzyme code for glycogen synthase is 2.4.1.11, 2 equals main class i.e., transferase, 4 equals subclass, 1 equals type of substrate. 11 equals serial number for the enzyme. Table 6.2 Some examples of the enzyme with enzyme code. Enzyme Enzyme code Alcohol dehydrogenase 1.1.1.1 Thymidyl late synthase 2.1.1.45 Nucleotidase 3.1.3.31 Pyruvate decarboxylase 4.1.1.1 Phosphoglucomutase 5.4.2.2 Argininosuccinate synthetase 6.3.4.5 Hexokinase 2.7.1.1 6.3 Properties of enzymes 6.3.1 Chemical nature of enzymes all enzymes are protein in nature. However, some molecules of RNA also exhibit catalytic activities. These molecules are termed ribozymes, they catalyze reactions involved in genetic information. Enzymes with only one polypeptide chain are called monomeric enzymes example ribonuclease, and enzymes with more than one polypeptide chain are called oligomeric enzymes example lactate dehydrogenase, LDH. To remain functional, an enzyme must retain all levels of structure in its original natural state. Denatured enzymes are unable to perform their actions.
One simple enzymes, they are purely made up of amino acids. Examples of simple enzymes include pepsin, trypsin, lipase, etc. Two complex enzymes, in addition to protein, they have some non-protein parts, which may be coenzymes or cofactors. I coenzymes, these are small organic molecules, usually the derivatives of vitamin B complex such as NAD+, contains niacin, fat, contains riboflavin, NADP, FMN, pyridoxal phosphate, thiamine, biotin, folic acid, lipoacid, etc. Coenzymes may be co-substrate or prosthetic groups. A co-substrates, the type of coenzymes that are only transiently attached to the enzyme example NAD+. B. Prosthetic group, the type of coenzymes that are permanently attached to the enzyme example FAD. 2. Cofactors, these are the non-protein part of complex enzymes in the form of metal ions such as Mg2+, Ca2+, Zn2+, Fe2+, etc. Enzymes that require metal in their composition are known as metalloenzymes and the enzymes which have a lower affinity for metal ions, but still require the metal ion for activity, are known as metal-activated enzymes. Holoenzyme, this term refers to the active form of a complex enzyme with its non-protein part. Apoenzyme, it is the protein part of a complex enzyme without a coenzyme or cofactor. It is inactive. Active site, it is a small pocket-like part of the enzyme, responsible for catalytic activity. It is the point where the substrate is combined with the enzyme to form an enzyme-substrate complex during a chemical reaction. The active site involves a small number of key residues that bind with substrates. The rest of the protein structure is needed to maintain these residues in position. The shape and the chemical environment inside the active site permit a chemical reaction to proceed more easily. The active site of an enzyme has two parts, catalytic site and binding site. I catalytic site, it is the area of the active site where actual catalytic activity, reaction, takes place. It is the functional cleft. It is typically a pocket or groove on the surface of the enzyme into which the substrate fits. It has structural resemblance with substrate and thus provides the basis of the specificity of an enzyme. 2 binding site, it is the region of the active site that holds the substrate properly. The substrate is held in position by weak bonds like hydrogen bonds, ionic bonds, and van der Waals forces. Some covalent bonds may also be found. Figure 6.9 Model of Enzyme Showing Active Site 6.3.2 Specificity of Enzymes Enzymes are highly specific in their actions. It means that one enzyme can act on one specific substrate only. Specificity is mainly controlled by the structural resemblance between the active site of the enzyme and the shape of the substrate. I absolute specificity, there is strict specificity example glucokinase acts only on glucose. 2. Relative specificity, in this type, some sort of relaxation is found example hexokinase can act on many hexoses like glucose, fructose, mannose, etc. 3. Group specificity. The enzyme acts only on molecules that have specific functional groups, such as amino, phosphate and methyl groups. 4. Linkage specificity, the enzyme acts on a particular type of chemical bond regardless of the rest of the molecular structure. V. Stereochemical specificity, the enzyme acts on a particular steric or optical isomer. 6.3.3 Catalytic activity of enzymes, enzymes are excellent biocatalysts. They speed up chemical reactions several folds, 103 to 108 times faster than non-enzymatic reactions. They can convert 100 to 10,000 molecules of the substrate to product per enzyme molecule per second. This is called turnover number, GAT. Enzymes are so efficient that, they can perform actions in vitro as well and comparatively at low temperatures and less concentration. A reaction can occur without a catalyst or enzyme but at that time a very high amount of energy is required. This required energy is reduced if the reaction is carried out in presence of a catalyst and it is significantly dropped in presence of an enzyme. This is the main advantage of the enzyme, as evident from the example of the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide mentioned below. I know catalyst and no enzyme, 2H2O2 2H2O plus O2, 
energy required equals 18,000 kcal slash mole. 2 in the presence of catalyst, PT2H2O22H2O plus O2, energy required equals 11,000 kcal slash mole. 3 in the presence of enzyme, catalase 2H2O22H2O plus O2, energy required equals 2,000 kcal slash mole. 6.3.4 Location slash site of enzymes, enzymes are synthesized and perform their actions within the cell. They are intracellularly found within specific vesicles. For examples, enzymes of the TCA cycle, fatty acid oxidation and oxidation of pyruvate are found in mitochondria. Enzymes of glycolysis, HMP shunt, and fatty acid synthesis are found in the cytosol. Enzymes of DNA and RNA synthesis are found in the nucleus. Enzymes for the degradation of complex macromolecules are found in lysosomes. Some enzymes worked extracellularly. For example, digestive enzymes synthesized by the pancreas do not use in pancreatic cells but are transported to the duodenum. Figure 6.10 Intracellular localization of enzymes, TCA, tricarboxylic acid, PP, pentose phosphate, source, Lippincott's Illustrated Review Biochemistry 7th edition. 6.3.5 Proenzymes slash zymogens, newly synthesized enzymes are called proenzymes or zymogens. In this state, they are inactive and unable to do any action until activated. They are activated by an agent called an activator. During activation, some amino acids are removed from the enzyme. For example, the activation of pepsin from pepsinogen in the stomach is carried out by the HCL of gastric juice. Pepsinogen loses 42 amino acids during its conversion, activation, to pepsin. Figure 6.11 Activation of Pepsin Autocatalytic Activation it is the process of activation of a zymogen by its active form. In the case of pepsinogen, initially, it is activated by HCl but later on, the pepsin starts converting the remaining pepsinogen to pepsin. Similarly, trypsinogen is activated to trypsin by enterokinase and then the remaining trypsinogen is activated by trypsin. 6.3.6 Induction of Enzymes Some chemical factors stimulate the synthesis of certain enzymes called inducers. For example, penicillin is the inducer for penicillinase and insulin for glycolytic enzymes. 6.3.7 Repression of enzymes, it is the opposite of induction. A repressor is a substance that represses or slows down the synthesis of an enzyme. For example, tryptophan is the repressor of tryptophan synthetase in E. coli and insulin is the repressor of enzymes for gluconeogenesis. Similarly, Hepatic enzymes called cytochrome P450 oxidases, involved in drug metabolism, induction or inhibition of these enzymes can affect drug interactions. 6.3.8 Isoenzymes slash isozymes, these are the enzymes of the same organism performing the same catalytic activity but physically and chemically distinct. For example, lactate dehydrogenase, LDH is made up of four polypeptide chains of two verities H and M different combinations of H and M chains produce five types of LDH, LDH1, H4, it is fast moving, LDH2, H3M, LDH3, H2M2, LDH4, HM3, and LDH5, M4, it is slow moving. Table 6.3 Characteristic Features of Lactate Dehydrogenase Isoenzyme Type of chains Electrophoretic mobility Tissue of origin Percentage in serum LDH1 H4 Fastest Cardiac muscle 30% LDH2 H3M Faster RBCs 35% LDH3 H2M2 Fast Brain 20% LDH4 HM3 Slow Liver 10% LDH5 M4 Slowest Skeletal muscle 
Another example of isoenzymes is creatine phosphokinase, CPK, or creatine kinase, CK. It is a dimeric enzyme made up of two polypeptide chains B and M types. Table 6.4 Isoenzymes of Creatine Phosphokinase Enzyme Chains Site CPK1 BB Brain CPK2 MB Myocardium CPK3 MM Skeletal Muscle the knowledge of isoenzymes is very helpful in the differential diagnosis of various disorders. Clinical aspect, CPK2, MB, activity is more specific for the diagnosis of myocardial infarction than total CPK. It appears in blood within 3 to 4 hours after the onset of heart attack, peak level reaches in 12 to 24 hours and level returns to normal within 3 to 4 days. 6.4 Some important coenzymes Coenzymes are the non-protein part of many complex enzymes. These are usually small organic molecules and are regarded as an essential requirement of the respective enzymes. They may be co-substrate, transiently attached, or prosthetic group, permanently attached, to the main enzymes. Most coenzymes are derived from vitamins, called vitamin-derived coenzymes, while few are synthesized from common metabolites, called metabolite coenzymes, such as ADP. Coenzymes are usually regenerated and their concentration is maintained at a steady level inside the cell, for example, NADF is regenerated through the HMP shunt and S-adenosylmethionine by methionine adenosyl transferase. One coenzyme A, COA, Koch, or HSCoA it is derived from the pantothenate, vitamin B5, a member of the vitamin B complex. It participates in acyl group transfer reactions with carboxylic acids and fatty acids. Acyl groups are covalently attached to the SH of COA to form thioesters. COA-dependent reactions include oxidation of fuel molecules and biosynthesis of carboxylic acids and fatty acids. It also assists in the transfer of fatty acids from the cytoplasm to mitochondria. A molecule of coenzyme A carrying an acetyl group is also referred to as acetyl COA. Other examples of coenzyme A carrying compounds are propionyl CoA, acetoacetyl CoA, malonyl CoA, succinyl CoA, etc. Figure 6.12 Structure of coenzyme A 2 nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD, plus it is derived from the niacin, vitamin B3, a member of the vitamin B complex. Its functional part is nicotinamide. It acts as a coenzyme for many dehydrogenases about 700. It exists in two forms, oxidized, NAD+, and reduced, NADH plus H plus, form. It is mainly involved in ADP-generating reactions. 3. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate, NADP plus it is the phosphorylated form of NAD+. It also exists in oxidized, NADP plus, and reduced, NAD plus H plus, forms. It is mainly involved in biosynthetic pathways example fatty acid and cholesterol synthesis. Figure 6.13 Structure of NAD plus and NADP plus 4. Flavin adenine dinucleotide, fat, and flavin mononucleotide, FMN These are derived from riboflavin, vitamin B2, a member of the vitamin B complex. They are involved in oxidation reduction reactions for many enzymes, flavoenzymes or flavoproteins. Their main action is to catalyze one or two electron transfer reactions. Figure 6.14 Structure of flavin adenine dinucleotide, fat, and flavin mononucleotide, FMN. 5. Coenzyme Q, ubiquinone It is a vitamin-like fat-soluble substance found in the mitochondria. It is actively involved in the electron transport chain and the generation of ADP via the oxidative phosphorylation process. The hydrophobic tail of coenzyme Q is composed of 6 to 10 5 carbon isoprenoid units. The coenzyme Q with 10 isoprenoid units is termed coenzyme Q10. The isoprenoid chain allows these quinones to be dissolved in lipid membranes. Figure 6.15 Structure of coenzyme Q10 Ubiquinol reduced form, ubizemakinin, intermediate form, and ubiquinone, oxidized form. 
Table 6.5 Some Important Coenzymes Coenzyme Reaction Catalyzed Biotin Carboxylation Cobalamin, Vitamin B12 Alkyl Transfer Coenzyme A Acyl Transfer Flavin Redox Reaction Lipoic Acid Acyl Transfer Nicotinamide Redox reaction Pyridoxal phosphate Amino group transfer Tetrahydrofolate One carbon group transfer Thiamine pyrophosphate Aldehyde transfer 6.5 Mechanism of enzyme actions Enzymes catalyze difficult reactions by changing the reaction to a series of easier steps including nucleophilic attack, general acid-base catalysis, covalent attachment, etc. The energy of activation, e -act it is the minimum amount of energy required by the substrate to become activated complex or the transition state. It is the energy difference between the reactants and the transition state. This energy barrier is reduced by enzymes and thus reaction becomes fast. 6.5.1 General Pattern of Enzyme Catalyzed Reaction This aspect of enzyme working can be explained in the following points. Enzyme and substrate combine to form a complex called enzyme substrate complex, ES complex. The ES complex advances further to achieve the transition state. The transition state has no resemblance with either substrate or product. Enzymes greatly stabilize the transition state and significantly decrease the E act. This is the main advantage of the enzyme. The transition state gradually moves towards the enzyme product complex. EP complex. Finally, enzyme and product separate. All steps are in equilibria. E plus SES complex EP complex E plus P. Figure 6.16 General pattern of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. Enzymes catalyze physiologic reactions by lowering the activation energy, E act, level that reactants must reach for the reaction to occur. Enzymes lower the free energy of activation by binding the transition state of the reaction better than the substrate. It does so by increasing the number of molecules that are activated and therefore reactive. The transition state for the ES complex has lower energy of activation than the transition state of S alone so the reaction proceeds after the formation of the complex. Figure 6.17 Energy of Activation with and Without Enzyme Transition state, each reaction has a transition state where the substrate is in an unstable, short-lived chemical, or structural state. In a transition state, the free energy of the system is at its peak. In the presence of enzymes, the E act is reduced very much and more molecules pass through the transition state rapidly. In this way, enzymes create a new and more suitable pathway, shortcut, for the reactants to become products easily. However, Enzymes do not alter the free energies of reactants and products. 6.5.2 Catalysis How do enzymes work? Following are the common mechanisms that occur at the catalytic region of the active site. 1. Proximity and strain effects Substrate fits into the catalytic site with proper orientation to catalytic groups. Enzyme conformation changes occur to give a strained ES complex. It facilitates achieving the transition state. The enzyme must bind the substrate in the correct orientation otherwise there would be no reaction. 2. Electrostatic effects, substrate binding site excludes H2O and lowers the dielectric constant and strengthens electrostatic interaction between E and S. 3. Acid-base catalysis, enzyme side chains act as proton donors and acceptors. 4. Covalent catalysis. Powerful nucleophilic side chain forms an unstable covalent bond to the substrate. 5. Metal catalysis, metal bound at the active site of enzymes can act as electrophilic catalysts, stabilizing the increased electron density of negative charge that can develop during the reaction. Metal can also provide a nucleophile at neutral pH by coordinating with a group with an ionizable proton. 6.5.3 Types of binding between enzyme and substrate The nature of binding between enzyme and substrate may be described on the lock and key or induced fit model hypothesis. One lock and key model, 
This model assumed that only a substrate of proper shape could fit with the enzyme. This hypothesis was suggested by Emil Fischer in 1894 based on the exact similarity of the shape of the substrate and the active site of the respective enzyme. Due to these specific complementary geometric shapes, they can fit exactly into one another. This is frequently referred to as the lock and key model. This model explains enzyme specificity, but is unable to explain the stabilization of the transition state. The lock and key model is not accepted now and the induced fit model is the most currently accepted hypothesis regarding enzyme substrate binding. Figure 6.18 Lock and Key Hypothesis of Enzyme Action 2. Induced Fit Model This model was suggested by Daniel Koshland in 1958. It describes that only the proper substrate is capable of inducing the proper alignment of the active site that will enable the enzyme to perform its catalytic function. The substrate does not simply bind to a rigid active site, rather due to the flexible structures of the enzyme, the active site continually undergoes conformational changes that enable the enzyme to perform its catalytic function. The substrate induces certain suitable changes in the conformation of the enzyme to allow better binding and catalytic effects. The enzyme molds itself according to the shape of the molecule. Figure 6.19 Induced Fit Hypothesis of Enzyme Action Exercise Questions MCQ1 Which of the following is a common nitrogen acceptor for all reactions involving transaminases? Acetoacetate Alpha-ketoglutarate Oxalostate Pyruvate Lactate MCQ2 The function of lactate dehydrogenase is to convert lactate to which of the following substances? Acetyl-CoA Alanine Oxalostate Pyruvate Succinate MCQ3 a 33-year-old woman consulted a GI clinic for the complaint of indigestion and heartburn, particularly on intake of a spicy meal. After a thorough checkup and investigation, she was found to be suffering from gastritis due to excessive secretion of acid pepsin. Which of the following classes of enzyme belongs to the enzyme secreted excess in this patient? Dehydrogenase Hydrolase Lyase Oxidoreductase Transferase. Please write answers in the comments. End of, part 1 of 2, of chapter 6. Thank you.